This is called Blythe Lake in the Uinta Mountains. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now the interesting thing about this lake is that I'm only a mile off of the road. There's no real official trail to this lake. I'm up here on first weekend of October and camping spots are packed along the road. Packed, absolutely packed. However, if you aren't afraid of a little hike, you get to be all by yourself. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. I'm going to go set up my camp and then I'm going to go fishing. There's fish all over in this, this lake. Um, it's a little foggy just around the edges, which is fine. Now I can find a a dry spot to put my tarp up and uh, get ready for the night. Just walk around and see which spot I want for the night. I'm thinking I'm going to go on that side right over there. But uh, we'll see. So I found where I'm going to camp tonight. There's a little fire pit area right here. So here's the 360 of it, but I'm going to probably put my tarp right here. Um, like I said, there's a fire pit, but I have my camp stove, so I'm not sure if I'll be having a fire tonight or not. I really don't need one, but camping is always more enjoyable when you have a little fire. And uh, so we might do that. So I'm gonna set my tarp up right here. So I've caught three fish out there in just, uh, I think about an hour of fishing and I don't consider myself a fly fisherman at all, but I enjoy fly fishing and got some beautiful brookies. So I caught a few fish, um, set up my tarp. I just wanted to show, um, forgot to show that. Uh, this is my version of a tarp tent. The cool thing about tarps, again, is you can set them up any way you want. I like to use my hiking poles or ski poles that I take with me. And uh, I, sometimes I'll set one up in the middle, but today I brought my extra wide sleeping pads. I brought my double instead of my single. And uh, so I didn't want to pull in the middle. So what I did is instead, Stick my pole all the way out here at the end. Plenty of room in there for my sleeping pad, sleeping bag. I could put my uh, backpack in there if I wanted. Um, if I needed to, I could, you know, bring these two edges together and, and close it up if it gets really bad. But I don't anticipate it getting bad. Um, I've collected some firewood. Uh, I don't plan on doing a big fire tonight. And so just a little one, enough to maybe last a, about a half an hour, hour maybe. Um, I'm thinking, thinking it's time to eat though. I uh, haven't had anything 
to eat all day except for a stick of beef jerky at the beginning of the day. And it is now, and that was like 11 o'clock this morning, and it is now 6 o'clock. So I'm, I'm going to get my camp stove out, get my food out tonight. My, my plan is this. I, uh, one of the best things that I have found for, for camping is I get Zatarain's rice and beans, whichever flavor you want. I open them up and I split them in half and put them in these little tiny snack bags. And I find that those, half of one of those boxes is very sufficient to fuel me for the day and, and to be my dinner. Uh, I've got some acai berry tea that I will be making tonight and uh, with the Zatarans is I get chicken, just a little packaged chicken and I will stick this in there also when I cook it and uh, that's going to give me oh, more than enough energy to get me through the, the day and the night and the hiking or whatever I'm doing and it's light, it's packable in the morning, if I fill up to it, I've got some oatmeal that I will be eating. But uh, as of right now, that's my plan. I'm going to go get some water, boil some water, and start cooking my Zetaran's rice. All right, uh, I, I'm expecting tonight to get down in the 40s. Should be nice and, and comfortable. I show you some of the gear I have. I have a climate uh, inflatable sleeping pad. I love this guy. I have this was my double, and then I have a couple of just singles. But um, I wasn't packing a lot of things today, and the hike was short, so I decided to bring the double instead of the single. I have a Kelty Light Year sleeping bag a light year down 20 and i am telling you i love this sleeping bag i have been winter camping at about 15 below zero and have made it through the night i'm not going to say i was a comfortable most comfortable but i made it through and was not super cold i I uh, bring this this pillow here. This is just a pillow that I was given during my last surgery. I've had uh, two and a half knee surgeries now, three knee surgeries. I'm going to have another one in a month, but they gave me this pillow. So this, just a super light pillow, compactable pillow from the hospital that I bring. This is a puffy Under Armour jacket. And then I've got... Uh, another Under Armour light hood um, beanie. If it gets cold at night, I put that over my head. But uh, I don't plan on it getting that cold. I, like I said, maybe in the 40s. I enjoy the cold. So it's quarter to eight right now. I'm done eating. I enjoyed my fire. Um, 
just went down, filled up my pot with water for tomorrow morning so that when I wake up, I'm just going to reach up and uh, got my arms right there. Got my tea right there. I'm taking my boots off right now. Um, and uh, take them off. I'm gonna crawl into bed for a little bit. I see a little bit because I'm hoping Go back up in just a minute or two, huh? about an hour or two, and uh, be able to get some pictures of some stars. Tonight, uh, I'm gonna write in my journal for just a few minutes, read a book I've got on my phone and uh, do that like I said for about an hour and then I'll I'll go out and take some some pictures of the stars the lake is just absolute glass right now so I'm hoping to get a really pretty reflection of the stars on the lake uh, that's my goal so we'll see, see how that goes. I'm gonna just lay down for a few minutes. Well, it's morning. And as you can see, I'm rather comfortable. I don't have much of a desire to get out of my, my sleeping bag right now. Um, but I do have places to go today. And so I'm thinking I'm going to convince myself out of the sleeping bag in the next five minutes. And break down camp and hike out. So there's a little frost on my backpack from the dew, so I think it got a little bit colder than I thought it did. But look at this. Oh, cool. Look at the steam just rise off the lake. That's so cool. What a beautiful morning, beautiful, beautiful morning.